There's another angle on this, too. What's that? Germany's personal life. Well, you're gonna need more than you got. I'll find it. I was thinking of playing it off as public image. What do you think? I'll back you up all the way, Jackie. Tonight we opt for uh, cozy over elegant. That's my mood exactly. I prefer cozy little corners, actually. There's one waiting for us. Shall we uh, take yes. it? Yes. Jackie. Hi. Hi, Tim. Mm. <laughs> hmm. You know, actually, I prefer a place that uh, the atmosphere doesn't overwhelm. <laughs> Don't you? That must be impossible with you. How sweet. I mean it. Good evening, Dr. Oh. Drake. The wine you ordered? Uh, yeah, thank you. Is that all right with you? Uh, I'll take it, thanks. You come here often? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> not really. Shall we make a toast? Yes, to what? Um, to this evening. Oh, couldn't you do a little bit better than that? <laughs> <laughs> to the first of many. Mm. Now that I know your favorite wine, what else are you going to tell me about yourself? Oh, nothing much to tell. What you what you see is what you get. Oh. Well, obviously a uh, a life of impeccable breeding. Well, thank you. Also, aren't you, uh, the nephew of the famous Senator Drake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's famous or infamous, I'm never quite sure which. Cool. <laughs> You're very modest. I'd much rather talk about you. Well, good evening. Oh, Robert, what a surprise. Mm. Uh, you know Noah Drake, don't you? Yes, all friends. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, managing at the moment. Oh, speaking of surprises, darling. Hmm? Actually, we're having some marvelous wine. You really should, uh, you should try it sometime. Want to join us? Uh, no, actually, I think that Robert has that I want to be by myself look tonight. I definitely Don't want you? to be alone. It's my garbo move. You can enjoy yourself, folks. <laughs> Certainly. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, it's my office. I work here. Not tonight. Come on, Alan. I have a lot to do. What do you mean? Have you forgotten our plans? You just go right ahead uh, with your business. I won't get in the way. Don't be ridiculous. Susan will be here in a minute. Alan, I'm not going to interfere. You can't stay here. Look, I have this damn quarterly report to finish tonight. I couldn't care less. Finish it tomorrow. Finish it at home. Don't finish it. Rick told you not to work too hard anyway. Well, who else is going to keep this company solvent? Excuse me. Why am I here? I'm trying to keep this family solvent. And I can't do it with you sitting out here. Alan, I'll just go on with my work. It would be too embarrassing. Oh, 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 come on, Alan. Now, look, I haven't been embarrassed by anything in 35 years. Not you, Susan. I mean, this is going to be difficult enough without you complicating things. I have no intention of complicating anything. But you will. Listen, you're going home. I am staying here. You can't. I certainly can. Now, look, Alan, this was my idea in the first place. Besides, you need somebody to pack you up. I can handle it. Well, it doesn't hurt to have a little reinforcement in the wings, and nobody is better at putting a woman in her place than a quartermain. Dad, I am a quartermain. Well, I know that, Alan, but that's all the more reason we should stick together, right? I thought you said you liked chocolate most. Most nights I would kill for it. Tonight? Tonight I don't need it. Appetite satisfied, huh? For food. Must be something in the air. I don't seem to be that hungry myself. Mm. Ah, let's put away these notes and relax a little bit, huh? It's a good idea. It's been a long day. Yeah. Was something wrong with the linguine? No, just not hungry, mate. May I get you some dessert? Another glass of wine, perhaps.
get out of here what? and miss the greatest show on earth. Dad. Alan, she doesn't have to know I'm here. I know. Well, you'll draw strength from it, my boy. Believe me. I believe I'm going out of my mind. Now, look, I'll have it all worked out. You take Susan in the office, and I'll hide out here someplace. This is ridiculous. Why am I standing here arguing well, with I you? Well, I don't know, because I'm staying, and that's that. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Give me a break. A little bit of sympathy. Oh, Alan, you don't need any sympathy. You're a quartermain, for heaven's sake. Now behave like one. I don't know what you're so frightened of anyway. All you're dealing with is a woman. When I get finished having to tell that woman what I have to, she may tear me apart. Well, you may have a few scars, but certainly no permanent damage. I'll tell you one thing. When this whole ordeal is over, I'm going to get as far away from women as I possibly can. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, we all say that, but we keep coming back for more. That's her. Okay, now you stick to your guns. Man the torpedoes and full speed ahead, huh? Hi, Susan. Wow, you look... You like it? I wanted to look especially nice for you tonight. Oh, you certainly do. Thank you. I'm glad you approve. Yeah. I, um... You don't have to say anything. There's yeah. nobody here. No. We have our love. We have our son. And most of all, we still have each other. Why don't we go into my father's office? I think it'd be more comfortable in there. All right. Would you like a drink? Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'd like to buy two brandies for that uh, table over there. This should cover it, I think. Thank you. Thank you. All work and no play makes Jackie and Ian very dull people. <sighs> Who's got time for play? Why don't we make time? All right, no more talk about work. I'll drink to that. Okay. Cheers. What do you want to talk about? How about you? That's not very fair. Me? I thought this was supposed to be a business dinner. Business is over. Boss's orders. Okay. Tell me about you. What's to tell? You've read my resume. Professional, Miss Templeton. I'm interested in the private jacket. I'd rather talk about Durnley. What's the matter? I make you nervous? Yes, a little. I'm sorry, I don't mean to do that. I... I just, uh... It's all right. wanted to get to know you better, that's all. Compliments of Mr. Scorpio. Robert, where is he? Oh, no. What's my matter? What's the matter? I am a very honest reporter, but I'm a lousy liar, and I think I'm in big trouble. Yeah, well, is there anything I can do? Just forgive me. I've really got to well, run. There you go. Thank you. It is so wonderful to be alone with you like this. I'm over here, Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'll be right there. Alan? Um, um I, I'm really, really, really thirsty. I really just need another drink. Don't tell me you're nervous. Of course not. Your hand is shaking. No, no, it's just the glass. To tell you the truth, I was shaking a little bit today myself. I couldn't wait to see you again. You know, you still haven't kissed me. Susan, uh... Ellen, uh, is something uh, wrong? I just don't know where to begin. Why don't you sit down and relax? Yeah, after you. <laughs> sit down. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> there, isn't that better? Yeah. You just relax, okay? Put everything out of your mind except us. I certainly haven't had anything on my mind except us. So good to feel close to you again. Yeah. Um, Susan, mm -hmm. you know what? I really could use another drink. Would you like another drink? I haven't even finished this one. Besides, I don't need a drink when I'm with you. Um, Susan, you really think that we ought to do this in a business office? Business hours are over. Excuse me, telephone. Hello. Oh, you're losing it, Alan. Important call. Um, these things take time. Time? Any more time, she'll lure you right into the poorhouse. What do you suggest? Well, be firm, fast. Tell her it's quits. Throw her out. Right. Thank you. Goodbye. Susan, 
There is something that I have to discuss with you. Helen, we have all night. Can't we talk later? No, no, I think that we really must talk about it right now, Susan, because it concerns our future, our separate future. Separate? Yeah. C why don't you come over here and sit down, Susan, and don't interrupt me until I'm finished, okay? Ooh, that's the way, my boy. The reason that I called you here, asked you to come, I only had one reason, Susan, and that's just to say goodbye. What? I'm sorry. Alan, I don't understand. It's over, Susan. It's all over. You can't, you can't mean that, Alan. Uh, I gave you a son. You wanted to spend your rest of your life with me. No. No, look, Susan, this isn't easy for me. Excuse me. What is it? Don't back down now. You're the captain of your ship. She walks the plank. Goodbye. Susan, what we had was wonderful, but it's over. You're the wordsmith. You knew I would come, didn't you? Well, I kind of thought so, yeah. Robert, it was a really rotten trick that you pulled. Oh, come on. I was only being sociable. I thought the two of you might genuinely like an after-dinner drink. That was my boss, and we were discussing business. Yeah, you well... You embarrassed me. Oh, really? Well, how do you think I felt? I mean, watching the two of you working in inverted commas. Hey, look, come on. Let's forget about it and have a drink. No, thank you, and I won't forget about it. Why didn't you tell me who you were going out with? You're wrong. Admit it. So are you, so have some champagne. You know what you can do with your champagne. I sure do. I've taken care of you financially. I set up a special trust fund for Jason. This isn't happening. You, you'll never want for a thing, honestly. Alan, please don't do this. Please don't. Look, Susan, it's done. No. It's over, I'm Susan. I'm not going to let you turn away from you me. You've got to understand, Susan, it's finished. No, it's Alan, over. Please. I'm not going back on it now, please. Susan. I'm sorry. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm no, so sorry. No, you're not sorry. You planned this from the start, didn't you? That's you not true. You used me. You did. I didn't, Susan. What did I believe you? Stop. I hate don't, you. Don't, 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 don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, the day wasn't a total loss. The fish and chips were great. I will never steer you wrong about fish and chips. And thanks for the help at City Hall, too. Hey, I was pretty convincing, wasn't I? You know, I had a real strong feeling that if I'd pushed at this, the woman would have probably given us enough money to go to a nice motel room tonight. <laughs> You're amazing, you know. You're kind of strange, actually. If I had been counting on a hundred acres somewhere and found out that they were in a garbage heap, I think I'd be suicidal. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Why don't we go back up to the mountain and pick up where we left off? Tempting. But we're not in the mountain anymore. I can paint you any kind of scenery you want. And I bet you could, too. But not tonight. I'm tired. It's been a long day. You know, though, we could have a very long, relaxing evening together. Uh, I don't have the energy. Well, that's amazing. You can hopscotch all over the mountains. You can hike like... Nobody's business, and yet one day in Fun City, USA, and you're wiped out. I didn't have to spend the night in jail up in the mountains. Sorry about that little joke. I'll laugh all the way home. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where are you staying? Oh, I've got a place. Yeah? Could you lend me five bucks? Oh, sure. Uh, I'll give you my last. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Where, where, where are you going? 
see me tomorrow, don't count on it, English. 